always what's good for Martell. No, no, no. What's been good for me has been good for my entire family. <laughs> He just really has obviously lost his damn mind. At the end of the day, I know that I have been a good wife to him. Even if I hadn't committed adultery, she know that we'll still be in the same situation. Are you not happy? OK, Caleb, well, I would like for you to go ahead and get that complaint for divorce together. 94.1 WHRP, get your best girlfriend, Tony Terrell. Oh, my goodness. The Holtz, they're supposed to be movers and shakers, motivators, influencers here in Huntsville. Have you been paying attention to the blogs and the post? Now, the last time I talked to Martell, you remember, Martell said he was an ex-cheater. So everybody knows you're a cheater, but then you got those women out there. Hey, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm gonna correct that. Okay. I used to be, I used to be. This side chick that he's not cheating with anymore is telling it all on social media. Have you been following it? Martell has been evidently texting her, but check this out. Girlfriend says she has receipts receipts. What? This mess right here has got to stop. So what's really going on with the Holtz? Because it's getting a little messy. Could this be the end of the Holtz? No matter how difficult things get in life, is knowing in the back of your mind that, yes, this is happening. However, this is leading to something bigger and greater for me, and I have to stand on that. I don't think anyone gets married with the intention or hope of not staying with the person that you marry. Despite your flaws or your issues, but you know that you love this person, you know that you want to grow old with this person and build a family and build so much with a person, why wouldn't you want it to work? Touch my soul, can't let you go. So why live for this? Live for this. Live. Honey, okay, so let me just say this. For the people who claim that I was never going to leave my tail, I say. Go on and get you a job as a psychic, honey, because you read my mind better than me because I ain't even know. So if you knew, then you need to be getting paid. All right, do it slowly. Bring it back out and then just, just okay. bring it in slowly. Yeah. Okay, you ready? After being together for 13 years, it's no doubt that you have those up, down moments, in love today, out of love tomorrow. But what do you do about it? How do you rekindle? How do you gain that spark back? And that's really what we've been focused on I have days when I look at him and want to slap the I'm sorry, slap him real good. Well, Be, be Real has been, it's days that she slaps me really good. <laughs> yeah. And again, I am sorry for everything I put you through. Aww. And it's real. <clears throat> so, you're happy. I am. I can tell. It's been an uphill climb, though. I ain't gonna lie. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, we separated. We had to separate, get some time apart, get some time to think. You know, some days I want to kill him, some days I didn't. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Well, I told you you wasn't going to get a divorce. I knew it wasn't going to happen. You didn't know? Yes, I did. So I'm going to file for my divorce. So no going back this time. Mm-mm. I tell you what, if it looks like I'm you giving call, in, you, you remind call. me. Uh-uh. You going to come in and shower some hickeys on your neck again. Oh, no. <laughs> mm -mm. Those times are long gone. So you, uh, you back downstairs? Yeah. Uh, I've heard a lot of things on social media. Oh, hey, listen, let me tell me. I've Get off seen, that damn I've seen social a, media. What you talking hey, about in particular? I've seen a few posts, you know, oh. with the with the girl and stuff. Oh, hey, yeah. listen. Yeah, um, man, I will. Um, where did she come out from? A rock. Um, what did you do? Uh, what I, did I, you I do rock. to make her come out? <laughs> but no, um, I won't even discuss that at all. Not even go yeah. talk about that. Yeah, yeah. We done with that. How frustrating is it to you 
to answer questions about this extra mistress? I'm not talking about it. I'm not talking about anything dealing with her. So how did you get to the happy point? You know, I think that being able to just like get away a little bit and think a little bit, he's been going to therapy and just remembering what brought us together in the first place. So do you think therapy worked for him? Mm -hmm. I would say yeah. Really? Mm-hmm, okay. Yeah. Some of the things that Martel has done to really help me regain my trust, you know, he's continued with therapy. He has my phone passcode, I have his. I'm able to go into his social media messaging accounts. He says he's going somewhere, he's gonna FaceTime to show me that's where he is. He has also, um, just some of the small things that show that you're listening to what I'm saying and trying to empathize and understand, hey, you did this and this is how it made me feel. That has shown me that he has the care to even understand my feelings. Can you believe it's snowing? Oh my God, yes. Well, you know we don't get that too often. I know, last time it snowed really bad like that, I was stuck overnight with a bunch of hollering kids. Wow. So that was rough, I said never again. Yeah, because you've been teaching for how many years now? 25 and Ooh. one half. Woo! And we just brought that to an end. <laughs> I just got my broker license in Alabama, so I'm thinking we need to do something. Honestly, when it comes to getting business done, we do well working as a team. So when you say we, are you talking about you and Martell? Yeah. We haven't talked really about none of yeah. the situation since you guys were at the house and we were having breakfast. You know, I told Martell, don't do that to my sister again. And I meant that. I said, Marcus better <laughs> check Martell over here about his sister. Yeah, no, <laughs> but you now, very Mark. direct like me, so it didn't surprise right. me at all. Because yeah, I, I was tired of hearing it. And then, you know, like me, working at, at a high school, I, the kids, that know what's going on, they're asking me, Mr. Minifield, you ain't gonna beat him up for doing your sister like that? And I'm like, you know what, here I am now, I'm looking like a punk, because I ain't whooping his ass for <laughs> mistreating my sister. Marcus is actually my oldest brother. So Marcus's mother, she was actually my father's first wife. They had two children together, Marcus and my sister Kimberly. My mother and my father were never married. And so there's like a huge age gap <laughs> between us. I came a whole lot later. Out of all the siblings, we just kind of connected really well. So we talk all the time. I want you to come to the baby shower and I want to invite daddy to come too. Oh, good. You think daddy will come? Probably. I don't see a problem why he wouldn't. Because, you know, I haven't really seen him in over a year. Really? I feel like we go through these gaps where we don't see each other, or we may not talk to each other that much, but then when we do see each other, we do talk. It's like not a beat So you has pick up missed. where you left off? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But a year? God. I know. Yeah. So then how do you think he feels about that? Daddy? Yeah. I have no idea. I would love to know. I mean, pick up your phone and find out. Yeah. Ask him. I do value my brother's opinion a lot, and it does hold weight with me when he mentions, you know, that I should start reaching out to dad more. I kind of feel like, yeah, that's definitely what I should do and what I want to start doing. With him and with my mom, you know, they're getting older. Mm -hmm. You're right, so, and I've been, Lord Jesus help me, because I've been thinking about that too. Yeah, so you have to really I know. push a little extra, extra. for them, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because you really don't know t time can be gone You're right. quickly. All right, guys, so we, we waiting on who to come. Mom. Mom. Baby sister, oh. right? Oh, yeah, yeah. So giving y'all like a little, little project to do. I want you, each one of you guys to put something on here, like make it colorful and make, I'm it, gonna do make painting. it cool, OK? I'm going to do painting. All right, cool, yeah. That's what I want you guys to do. That looks All right, like... right y'all hold on, OK? What's up, baby? What's up, big boy? What's happening? Not much, nothing much. Good to see you, boy. I like the crib, I like the crib. Yes, sir, everything good? Yeah. With me taking care of three children and Melody, I haven't had much time to get the baby's room together, so now I'm calling on Siddharth to come help out a little bit. You got that flannel on like me, don't you? <laughs> man, like you we about to go cut some trees down. Got to, got to cut a couple <laughs> down. So, so what's up, man, talk to me. I've heard some things. I hadn't hollered shit in a minute. 
Yeah. But more than hearing, man, I've been seeing y'all go crazy on social media. Like, what is all that about? I'm in like a couple little groups or whatever, and they have, of course. Oh my gosh. Uh, boy, those groups are. Cut no, them through. groups be killing me, I heard. <laughs> oh, they on you. They're on you. <laughs> they are on you, dog. Like, what they be talking about? They are coming with all sorts of screenshots. I'm, my God. Oh, yeah, tear me up. Right. Did you see that somebody beat her car up? Spray painted her car, yeah. did something to yeah. her car. Yeah, yeah. But I tell you what, at the end of the day, man, I ain't gonna let nobody come between my family and I, mm -hmm. our happiness. That's good, man. Yeah. We did our dirt. Right. And, but the thing is, you don't disrespect my wife, though, you know? That's why I called her peasant at the beginning. Nobody knows that. You think she felt like she, she might have been disrespected? Uh, for me to say something like that? Yeah. Oh, of and, course. And it might be lashing back. Man. Obviously, I know her and a few of her associates. So yeah. Just, it, it seems kind of a little bit outside of her uh, character. I actually happened to know the young lady in question. There was this uh, restaurant slash bar that all of us used to go to and uh, hang out, and um, she worked there. I found out about Martel's mistress when the rest of the world found out. And when I found out who, I was shocked even more. It has come to an end. I hope so. Man, listen, I gave that time too much time. You know what I'm talking about? Got you. So man, I'm moving forward from all of that, man. Period. Coming up on Love and Marriage Huntsville, Melody's special delivery. We're trying to confirm the final head count for the shower. Is it all of us? I'm assuming you're speaking of Letitia and Marcel. Yeah. Do you believe your wife love you unconditionally? I mean, with all the scars and with all your history and with everything. Do you really believe it? You sent text messages and stuff. You know, Marcel was always talking about receipts and things of that nature. So, you know, I just sent over some stuff. I said, Letitia, having a tummy tuck and a butt job, and you still weren't satisfied. Hi, guys. Hi. Hey, Mama. You guys are late. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Hi. We got them all together. Bro. So today we are at Bump Life Studio so that we can get a 4D, 5D visual of our little bundle. This ultrasound experience is so much better to me than a traditional ultrasound simply because you really kind of get to it's really see the features. Features of the, the baby. So. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty cool. I think she's gonna look just like you, Mariah. I think she's gonna just look like Melody. <laughs> Mommy, uh... don't be saying Melody, boy. Well, it's gonna be amazing to see. I what bet she she's looks a like. combination of all three of them. I don't think it's gonna be him because that's boy. I don't think it's my mother. Can she hope? So, oh, what yeah. if y'all have so another boss Martin, baby? You don't want another boss baby. I can't stand it. Huh? Which don't say that. <laughs> I can't stand it because I already have one. And I gotta do everything for her. No, you don't. <laughs> no, you don't, Not right. <laughs> Good job, Melissa. Sometimes you do, and sometimes you don't. <laughs> all right, you guys ready to come on back? Yes, all are. right, yes, just follow me. Y'all right, right, ready? Cool, cool. Yeah. Hey, y'all do. Aw. This baby could not have come at a better time for our family. Mel has had three kids, almost four kids for me. I'm gonna do everything in my willpower to make sure that we we stay together because that's the person that I see myself with for the rest of my life. Oh, I see the nose and the eyes. You do? Oh, yes, y'all don't see that. <laughs> that's the nose. Where's the mouth? Where's the eyes? <laughs> Who she look like? They look like me. The nose and everything. <laughs> Come on, let's go party. Are y'all ready, Mr. You always go, say go that, sweetheart, but I know y'all. Yeah, y'all will be saying, can you pull right. over? Right, and daddy go clothesline all y'all. It seems really real. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How I'm, do you feel? I feel fine. I really do. You and Martel seem to be in a better place. We are. We've been doing, you know, working on communicating better and expressing ourselves and actually hearing each other. Well, that's good. Mm -hmm. Communication is the key, right? Right. I really hope that this positive place that my marriage is in will last. I hope that we don't find ourselves going back through another dark time or one of those not for better but for worse times. 
I hope that we continue to work on falling in love with each other the way we felt 13 years ago. Well, we got a busy weekend. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah. We got the baby shower Sundays. And your dad is coming, hopefully. Well, I invited my dad, and um, I'm really trying to work to rekindle that whole, you know, relationship. One thing I can say about my mom, she never, ever, ever spoke ill of my father. So she's done a very good job when it comes to that, when you think of a split parent home, and you could feel some kind of way about a person, but you choose not to get the child involved in that. See, I can see and recognize all of that now as an adult myself. I think maybe having this baby, uh, you know, again, it made me think going back to rekindling in memories. Like, I remember when I had Mariah, you know, he drove up yeah, that night. We were all at the now, all y'all were together. there, but it was y'all, it was the first one, you know? Yeah. <laughs> and so it's kind of, I think, making me feel like, um, you know, just wanting to make sure he's a part. You know what I mean? Right. I think it's going to be great. Okay. I think so too. Hopefully, he'll get to make it. Let's see. Move over for the black queen. Look at my skin, look at my head. Yeah, yeah. None of y'all teach us. Y'all too busy trying to be us. You know we got that magic. Really? Okay. Hey, oh. Dream Team. Hey, what's up? Come hey. on in. How you doing? <laughs> So my baby shower is a few days away. So I'm here today to meet with my planner, meet with my chef, to make sure that everything is on point. So that the day of the event, I can just sit back, relax, and let my good friend Destiny be the hostess and deal with any things that need to be dealt with. Since it's on, you know, Sunday, I was like, yeah. people are coming. They might, you know, church, church brunch, yeah. Sunday brunch, you know? Okay. And so some of those unique items that you'll find is like a mini-sized chicken pot pie bite, nice slow-cooked pulled chicken, and a pastry, you know, okay. golden flaky right. puff pastry. You said you got that out already for me now. <laughs> like, I, <laughs> well, y'all know I love elegant, classy, right. but fabulous, but still not too much. So here we have just regular florals, or we have the hat boxes, and we could do a customized decal. So we could do baby hold or something, welcome baby. Yeah, because you know she don't have a name yet. No. The, t uh, the clock is ticking. Yeah, I know. Right. 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 We are going to let social media help us choose a name for her. So we're going to do this little fun competition where everybody gets to submit names and we're gonna choose the top five and we'll announce the name we chose when I have the baby. So it's gonna be fun. We're making it fun for everybody. What about your guest list? Have you finalized that yet? Well, you know, I haven't fully finalized it all the way. Okay, um, yeah, we just need a final head count for the I tables. I know, you sure do. Mm -hmm. Let me see something. Hello. Hey, Kimmy. What's up, girl? How you doing? What's up, Nello? I'm good. How you doing, Mama? Girl, I'm fine. Trying to hold this baby in till the at least till the hold baby it. shower. Hold it. Hold it. <laughs> I said y'all gonna have to flip me upside down on my head or something to keep her in there. <laughs> Whew. But listen, I'm sitting here right now with my planners and my chef, and we're trying to confirm the final head count so they can make sure they have everything they need for the shower. I know I sent you an invitation, but I want to call and make sure you are going to get to come. Yes. Okay, so you and Maurice? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So is it the gang all here? Is it all of us? Talking about, um, I'm assuming you're speaking of Leticia and Marcel. Now, Kimmy knows good and damn well she shouldn't have expected Marceau nor Tisha to be on the invite list for this baby shower. He asked you that Mel tried to sleep with you? Stop. What? Oh, I'm sorry, Don't I got to way this too much. Did Mel Don't try to have sleep with Marceau? Don't be out here talking about me when you're really liking what I'm doing. And now you're doing it. Thank you, Mel, for making me. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I thought things were halfway on the right track, too. You know, I kind of thought that things were halfway on the right track a little bit as well. So the last time that we were all together, I really thought that we were moving in the right direction. Apologies were given, apologies were accepted. However, after that, this whole Twitter war happened. Tisha was sharing all these negative tweets that were being said about me, and Marceau was tweeting. In the midst of that, they just really started doing some low stuff. Like, for me, off-limit, parents, children, unless the parent comes for you, like Miss <laughs> Wanda did, <laughs> you don't say anything about the parent, okay? But they did. They tried to come for my mother, and it's like, okay, you're doing too much. 
Can we just make sure there are no pop-ups by, um, you know, the other Scots okay. or, the, or the mama, Wanda, none of them? Okay. 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 We're not okay. doing, you know, what was it, wedding crashes? We ain't doing the baby shower <laughs> yes. crashes. Okay. That's Got you. Okay. Coming up on Love and Marriage Huntsville, Melody's Special Delivery. I guess just knowing the importance of not having my dad in my life, right. I just feel that I really do need to fix whatever's broken, I feel. Seeking counsel definitely helps me see things in a different light. Dr. Francis, how you doing, man? Good, how are you? Good, man. It's easier for someone on the outside to look in and, and share with you what's going on with, with you, um, opposed to you, you in the chaos. So it's a lot of things that you really don't see or don't understand. So how is it going with you and your wife right now? Well, I, I feel that we're still working through things um, uh, because what I, what I put her through is not easy. Um, to get over, but she's genuinely um, happy now. She's genuinely smiling. Um, we're genuinely um, working together. We're limiting, um, you know, the the bickering, the things of that nature, which what came with um, the infidelity. A lot of the um, horrific times. I mean, it, it came um, with dealing with another person, being involved in in our marriage, you know? Um, and, and then too, um, a lot of the, the crazy things came with her contacting my wife and that put my wife in a place where um, she looked at me a different way as well. Who would feel the pain if your marriage was destroyed? My children, my wife, myself. Um, yeah. yeah. My entire family would feel it. Your entire family would, would, yeah. would feel that. Yeah. Do you believe your wife love you unconditionally, man? I mean, with all the scars and with all your history and with everything, do you really believe that? Yeah, she you does. Do? Yeah. She does? Yeah. Okay. If you do believe it, then this won't happen again with this other women. Oh, well, oh, yeah, it is. It's over. It is. Ultimately, my behavior was wrecking my marriage. I understand that. I totally agree with Dr. Francis. I feel that I was totally at fault because I know what I've done wrong and I know how I'm gonna fix it. So. One of the last times we talked, you know, we talked about, about you and your dad. Mm -hmm. And there was some pieces that you wanted to connect. Were you able to do that? Um, slightly, but not, when, when I say slightly, we've um, had conversations and things like that. Yeah. But we really haven't bonded the way that I think we um, should have. It might be a lot of things that I'm missing okay. um, in life. Um, for him not being a part of my life. Okay. But it's, I don't know what I'm, I don't know, I'm a great father. I don't know what I'm missing because I don't feel it. I don't feel that I'm missing anything from the lack of him being in my life. I, I, don't, I don't know. You're not wishing it was different? Well, um, mm -hmm. I'm from the hood. We man, didn't have man, fathers man. in the life. We didn't, man. I didn't. My, all my neighbors, all my friends, nobody had dads around. Nobody. There were no men in, in the hood? People had kids, but not like, you, you see me, Martell Hope, okay. with his child, I'm holding their hands, I'm okay. hugging them, I'm kissing them, okay. I'm, I, I tell them I love them every day, I read them books, we, okay. we, we go places, I'm in their lives. I didn't see the father, so I didn't know that a father's supposed to be in somebody, the kid's life, I didn't know that. So you're not angry at him being missing from your life, and you're not angry about him just not being a part of what you needed to be who you needed to be. You're not angry about none of that? Not really. If, if God would have shown me, Martell, your life would have been so much more amazing if your dad was a part of your life. If God could like show me that right now, I'd be like, dang. Dad, do you see what you could have done for me? But I think God did show you because when you look at what you went through, now you're getting in touch with your losses of, not, of detachment from your dad, and you're saying, I don't want this for my kids. Then it makes you take the position of, I need to be available for my kids. 
what did it feel like to know that you have a father incarcerated, but him not active in your life to where you could become emotionally satisfied? Well, I know the reason that he wasn't in my life. Okay. You know, being incarcerated the majority of my life. Okay. But still, you know, it's been it was times that he gotten out of prison and I never even knew. And that was probably for a few years and right. I, I never knew. So those are some of the things that, you know, kind of bother me to this day. Okay. You know, um, knowing that my mom, she stuck it out and raised me and provided and he wasn't there to assist in any of it. I would have loved to have had a father growing up. I mean, but that just the way it should be, you know, both parents raising their children. So uh, it's my hope that he will um, start to be a man, and if he says he's gonna do something, do it. Um, so therefore, we can build a, a positive relationship. We talked through a whole lot of stuff as we begin to wrap it up. Did anything stand out to you as a, as a moment of, hmm? I guess just knowing the importance of not having my dad in my life, right. um, knowing how like, I mean, we're connected. And it's like I'm operating like like a half of a heart. Right. Yeah, so, I mean, and, it, and I just feel that I really do need to, I, I don't know, just, just put more effort into to getting us to fix whatever's broken. Okay. Okay. Right. Coming up on Love and Marriage Huntsville, Melody's special delivery. I got a text message from Tisha apologizing, but I just didn't, I felt like it was good. Meal. And then, no, 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 six days later, she was retweeting all these bad posts about me. We're at the Holt baby shower today. It's gorgeous. Oh, like, it's gorgeous. Yeah, the baby shower looks amazing. I wish everybody could be here because times like these, it reminds me of a time when everything was good between everybody. So I wish we could kind of get back to those times. The horse and carriage arrival, that's, that's Martell and Melody right there, <laughs> in a nutshell. It's almost like a 180 degree turn from the gender reveal. Now Martell, you said, you said five, right? So you got one more. One more. One, one more. more. Ask say. Melody. Uh, well, I'm at, oh, well, oh, oh. You sure that you want them to ask me? I'm going this way. Remember I said Melody was a little bit extra? <laughs> she still is. I enjoyed that interest. Yeah, I did. It too. was amazing. I think with the horse and carriage, you know, it was just, hey, the royal family has arrived, okay? Yeah. <laughs> and it really reminded me a lot. Remember our wedding day? Yes, when we got there. And we married. left in the horse and carriage. Yes. So that's kind of it brought back that memory. And then, but we had our three children with us. Our four well, children. Yeah. With us. It was amazing. Yeah. Hey, hey my how, how are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Okay, doing so fine. I'm glad you made it. I'm, I'm glad I made it, too. You want to come? Oh, Doing all right? Thank you for coming. What's up, y'all? Oh, my God. Oh, Mr. Children. Oh, good. How are you? Good, good. You better help me on up. Good. The love in this room and this baby shower. Every person I greeted, I just knew it was like a genuine smile. Yeah. A genuine hug and a genuine yes. conversation. The support. Oh, it's unmatched. Look at this basketball. I know, right? <laughs> Listen, how are you? I'm good. How y'all doing? We're really good. I like the horse and carriage. It was so pretty. Yes. Thank y'all. It was. Y'all know we're a little extra. A little bit extra. <laughs> It's okay. It's okay. I am glad to see that Kimmy and Maurice made it to the shower. I think that that shows a continuation of putting forth the effort to make sure we're all on a good page. Thank y'all. <laughs>
Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. On behalf of the host, we want to welcome everybody here to the baby shower for baby number four. We are going to have some games, food, and festivities, and I hope y'all all enjoy. The Williams today are helping us by being the host. Destin and I have definitely gotten a lot closer over the past few years, especially since Marcella and Barrick have been, you know, such good friends. So Destiny's over the games and making sure everything's running right when it comes to the program. And LaBerrick is responsible for the prayer. Let's bow our heads, everyone. Dear Heavenly Father, I just want to thank you for such a joyous occasion, Lord. I ask that you please be with the hosts today, Lord. Please be with their family, Lord. Cover them, Lord. I ask that you build a hedge of protection around them, Lord. Build their bond as stronger as it has ever been, Lord. LeBerry did good on the prayer. He called on the name of the Lord, I tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> he said Lord a couple times. Amen. This is really nice. It is so good to see everybody come out and show their love and support. On a beautiful Sunday. But Melody and Martell seem to be in a better place. They are. They gonna be fine. Told you, honey. That's why we didn't let them be. Well, you know, I spoke with him several times about, you know, how I felt about everything. So you spoke several times? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, he was very receptive of what I had to say. Okay. He really was. Okay. That's good. Mm -hmm. Coming up on Love and Marriage Huntsville, Melody's special delivery. So, hey, is Daddy coming? It was a comment that was made, and I was just a little offended by it. Like, OK, did she just come for my baby? Don't come for my baby. All right. OK, All right. thank you. Hey, what's up, girl? <laughs> Newly wet. And look at you still wearing white. Yes. No, you happy. Yeah, uh -huh. Still wearing Put white. It on face. That's right, girl. Come on. <laughs> How you doing? I'm doing, girl. You look so beautiful. You look and beautiful. you're doing a great job. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm trying. You are. You're doing a great job. <laughs> How yes, are you I feeling? Can. I'm feeling fine. You know, to be honest, I'm really just, um, I would say I'm in a place where I'm trying to make sure my mental space and all of that is clear. I'm trying to have a healthy baby. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, look, I'm 37 weeks. So that tells you right there, obviously, I haven't allowed sh any stressors right. to, you know what I'm saying, to affect me. Yeah. I'm good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I'm well, good. Well, speaking of 37 weeks. Yeah, girl, what? I'm nine weeks. Stop That's it. why I'm bulging out of this jacket. Stop it. I'm Are trying to suck my stomach and it ain't working. Yes. Oh, Destiny. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy for y'all. Oh, my God. Over the years, Destiny and I have kind of really started um, building our friendship. I do know Destiny is a lot like me. She's very straight up and straightforward. People always say I'm extra. And then I was around Destiny, and I'm like, shoot, Destiny extra too? Hey, girl. <laughs> well, y'all finna have a fine or beautiful baby. Whichever one is going to a boy, fine, and a girl, beautiful. Wait a minute, Malia. Uh-uh, Malia. Malia. Y'all go over there. <laughs> get a piece of cake. You can help your mom open them once we get them figured out. Girl, right. <laughs> His face is missing. You know, I'm good for noticing the faces that are missing. I, I think everybody that I invited was here. That's probably true. <laughs> That's probably true. I don't deny that. What are you talking about? You know, the Scots. Yeah, I didn't invite them, honestly, you know. But I got a text message from Tisha about two weeks ago now. Okay. Apologizing, saying, you know, hindsight is 2020, and right. you know, but I just didn't, I felt like it was good. Why? Wow. And then, no, no, no. Six days later, she was retweeting all these bad posts about me when I wasn't saying, hadn't been saying nothing about them or thinking about them. And I said, yeah, see, that apology was good. That social media is a beast. It doesn't matter though. If you send me an apology, don't go on social media retweeting things that are negative about me. 
I am totally done with Tisha. Some things there is no coming back from. You ain't my husband. You ain't my mama. You ain't my daddy. I ain't about to keep working so hard to have a positive relationship with you. I can put that energy elsewhere. So here's what we gonna do. When Mel and Kimmy together, we gonna talk about Mel and Kimmy. Exactly. I got you. But on the insane instance, talk, hey, that's hey, me. Okay. And we ain't doing no sit downs with that one. Hey, girl. Can I follow Miss Kimmy for a second? No. <laughs> okay. Well, anyway. It'll work, though. I'm glad you came. Just how it's supposed to. That's right. And you look cute, too. Thank you. Yeah. I did that for your pumpkin. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. So I just wanted to talk to you because you sure. know it was a comment that was made and I was just a little offended by it and I wanted to address it. Sure. So it was the game night. Mm -hmm. You know, LB jumped up and said mm -hmm. whatever he said. The comeback group is a great idea and a great initiative, but it doesn't even exist. Who owns the comeback group? We do, and it does exist. I have no idea who these two are. I absolutely have heard about LeBaric and Jails Forever. I've never put a face with the name, but he makes good chicken. <laughs> I know that. I'm gonna be honest with you, it, it rubbed me. I'm like, okay, this should just come for my baby. Don't come for my baby. Talking about, I don't know him, all he does is make good chicken. What is catching me off guard is the fact that Destiny feels offended, that I said, I don't know these people. And the fact of the matter is, I don't know these people. <laughs> and that's just, I don't. Sometimes I think I'm more funny than I am. However, I feel confident in saying I didn't know who you all were. She's gonna have to get some thicker skin to hang with this crowd. Coming up on Love and Marriage Huntsville, Melody's special delivery. You sent text messages and stuff. You know, Marceau is always talking about receipts and things of that nature, so, you know, I just sent over some stuff. You can't stop. It seems like you're a runaway train right now. It's been kind of fun to me, though. I didn't see a lot of Big brother is here. That's how it works. Yeah. I love my big brother. It's amazing how you can not have grown up with someone and still be so similar. So, you know, we just have this connection as brother and sister, and I love him. So, hey, is Daddy coming? I don't think so. He told me he wasn't. Really? Mm hmm. He said he had an obligation to him. Okay. It kind of hurt my feelings a little bit. Really? Mm hmm. I'm very disappointed that my dad is not here at the baby shower. He said he had other obligations that he had to stick to, and I don't deny it. I'm sure he does, because he, like me, is always doing something. But I'm kind of learning that family has to come first. I hope that he starts putting family first more, too. We're about to start Baby Taboo, and the winners get a free meal for you and your family from Jails Forever Barbecue, which Miss Kimmy knows about. That good chicken, uh-huh, came from my baby. You tried it. It's OK. <laughs> wow. What's up, Reese? What's up, Marty? How you doing, bro? Doing all right, man. What's been going on, man? Hey, things good, things good. Looks like it's a calm, you know? Oh, man, right. Right, right. Firestorm just recently, huh? What you talking about? Like, you sent text messages and stuff, right? I know the last text message I sent was to you, Marceau, and, and Tisha. Tisha. Yes. Right. You know, Marceau is always talking about receipts and things of that nature, so, you know, I just sent over some stuff. I said, Letitia, having a tummy tuck and a butt job, and you still weren't satisfied. And then Marceau goes on talking about he has a, a video of someone's mom. Who, whose mom? Your mom? Only reason I involved you in it because, you know, you had a lot to say on that stage when we were out there in L.A. Did he ask you that Mel tried to sleep with you? Stop. Oh, Stop. My... It's so about stupid. to just get worse and worse. Y'all know way too much. Y'all know way too much. 
she just said a question that's gonna be more revealing, and then you're gonna say something that's gonna be more revealing, and then it's gonna get worse and worse. I didn't stop and interject when Mabel said something. I stopped and interjected right after Tisha said something. After she said it. She said it. So she got her stuff out. You can't allow them to attack us to, hold on, hold on, to, to the point of our backs being on the wall, and now we start coming back, Mm -hmm. And then you try to interject like you coming at Melanie and I. I will say certain things only because I feel that Tisha has dug and dug and dug. How is this helping this marriage? We're not no, trying to help. That's Did what I'm trying to tell you. You can't do it both ways. No, oh, you I'm can't sorry. be uplifting and tearing oh, oh. down. Whenever we're talking to Marshall and Letitia, mm -hmm. I think that you should tone it down, don't even say nothing. My interjection is to make sure that no, no. two families that I care deeply about, yes. I want to make sure that you guys' friendship the stuff that's worth fighting for, mm -hmm. you keep the stuff that's worth fighting for. Have you ever said, you know what, I'm gonna be the bigger person in this? Yes. I done it for several months. And it's like I only can take so much. It's almost like, man, I cannot believe that you think that you can do this without me retaliating. Martel, you know? he apologized for the jokes. And then you can't stop. It seems like you're a runaway train right now. It's wow. been kind of fun to me, though. Next on Love and Marriage Huntsville, Melody's Special Delivery. Thank you. You guys are going to get a chance to see um, some demonstrations here of the product in just a moment. Who allowed Tisha to come in and why in the hell is she here and why did she think it was okay for her to come? You look very much. Yes. I've been asked to escort you out. Don't play with me. Just know I love your sister uh, more than anything. Do I believe what you're saying now? Let's get past that. That's what we're trying to get past. You lied. Hey, Mama Ho, this is Melody. We're headed to the hospital. Water just broke. The baby will be here. Moments away. 